Okay, now you have your own tripod. So this is Nancy today. We're rebatching soap. Part three. Now I have to keep stirring and stirring and stirring. I guess you have to keep stirring because if you leave it on the bottom, it kind of fries on the bottom like french fries or I guess like potatoes. And the chunks are way too big. But I was too lazy to do it properly. I wonder if I can break my chunks. Maybe my arm is really tired. Eventually, let me see, wait a minute. Pour the mixture into a large cooking pot and place it on the stove on very low heat. Remember to keep on stirring. After a while, the mixture will bubble up and try to escape from the pot. Stir it down. Oh dear, that's going to be awful. And eventually the mixture will separate into a fluid mixture with small lumps. Okay, I'm waiting. Seems to just be getting to be hard soap, actually. So it'll be a fluid mixture with small lumps. Keep on stirring the mixture at low heat until it gathers. If my soap gratings are very dry, this is the point where I carefully add some extra water. Add as little as possible. When the soap continuously Create a thin membrane on the surface and a small lump of soap becomes hard in a glass with cold water. The soap is finished and you can add color, fragrance, etc. <gasps> Good grief. This is like really hard mashed potatoes, isn't it? up, will it? It'll be the day. Thing I would recommend. I don't think it's going to bubble up actually, but who am I to say I didn't write the recipe? Ugh. I'm ready to add some cold water now, or some hot water or something.
if you can make this into nice little balls at this time. Yeah, you could. How about we just make it into balls? That'll be perfect. this in the, and make them in balls and put them in there. Mashed potato balls. So it does seem to have rebatched somewhat. At least it's able to do something with it. I don't know about this pouring it into molds thing. not too hot on my hands. Put these gloves on. Still smells nice. Nantucket Briar is the smell. Okay, how are we doing for time here? Time to go. Goodbye.